educational series on motorcycles. We're at the National Transport Museum at Inverell and we're just going to show you probably 10% of the motorbikes are here that range from flat tracker trying through to much more modern Hondas, uh, a nice little um, 65, uh, well, not little, CB450 known as a black bomber, uh, VT500E, not a real common model with the V-twin. There's also a VF500, which is V4, which is a much nicer bike, or in my opinion. Uh, CX500 Turbo, staying bring money. Um, CB750, looks very similar to a CB1000. And we'll pass along some of these here. And I thought we'd find this one here. Um, CB... 1100, I think I've been out in the road on that one from memory, or not riding it, but with it. Move across here, the K1 BMW, sort of a modernistic type bike, a Jawa Speedway bike, Harley, which is really an Amarucci uh, there, and on some of the other lovely bikes there, AJS, uh, Excelsior 250, the GTS Yamaha, I've got one, uh, had experience with those, they've got hub centre steering on them, quite a few features that despite their 1993 age, they are well and truly in front of all the other bikes, there's um, very few of them, 26 or something like that in Australia, TZ350A, great killer of um, the four strokes, the BSA um, B40 up the back I think from memory, ES2 Norton here, great racing bikes, um, Move on to a little Bridgestone 175, probably better known for the Bridgestone GT350. Lovely Velocet um, Clubman Venom there in the background. Great bikes, handled beautifully. Um, move on, looking through some of the scooters here by Motos. Uh, Yamahas, uh, sorry, try again. There is Yamahas up the top. You can see some there. Uh, MT or CR Hondas. And Move down here to an NSU, some of the un more unusual ones, Moto Guzzi, um, little Yamaha Delta box there, uh, not real common, water cool, it's only a, quite, a, quite a small one. Um, FZR, Benelli here, the 650 Twin, Benelli Mantra, that's um, got a Ducati motor in it, it's not quite as common. Little, no Velocet here, Mark II 200cc LE, horizontally opposed, water cool. Um, from memory, I think the Mark II had the kick start, the early ones had hand start, uh, hand gear change. No, this one's got hand start there on, down the side, you see the lever. Uh, BSA Bantam. So the other bikes here, early model Royal Enfield, uh, 52 model James over there. Have a move over here, quick look down through some other early model. Um, Aramaki SX250, I think from memory, a couple of Royal Enfields, nice Triumph here with some great period accessories on it and trim work on it, and a nitrous oxide powered V Max. I had one, ridden one, if it didn't have enough power, I don't know what sort of power they wanted to put nitrous oxide on it because. You really didn't need to have anything like that. These bikes were a rocket ship in their normal sense. So hit the subscribe button. Tell us about perhaps a motorbike museum that you've seen. This is the National Inverell Transport Museum. And this is just some of the bikes they have on display. Hit the like. Add some comments.